Welcome back, Wildlanders. Wanderer here. We're gonna do some stuff and things today. We're heading up right now to get an ore sample to a place a bit up north of here. I did sleep over at that fort for the night in a tower. Got my bath for the morning, got some food, got some water. So we're good to go. We're heading up this way towards Shore's Stone to obtain an ore sample for Film Jar. Then maybe we'll go over and get the gold sapphire necklace over here. And then perhaps we shall make our way back around, turn in some quests along the way. Hit up uh, Anger Vunda. Hold on, my phone is ringing. It was spam, no big deal. Okay, um... Yes, yeah, so we're gonna do, do that. Oh right, I need to get some troll fat and a Daedric heart. I still don't know where I'm gonna get a Daedric heart, obviously from a Daedra, as the orc here was so nice to point out, but... I'm not sure, like, where to find a Daedra, that's the problem. This isn't Oblivion, they're not just popping out all over the place, you know? They're not super common. Hello. Friendly. Hunter camp. Hi there. Don't mind me if I just steal your elk here. What's this? The gold ribbon, is this stealing? Um, I can read it. It's not stealing. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take your book and your your supper. You don't like it? You can fight me for it. Need something? Take a look. You have like nothing, no gold at all, huh? Got any beef? You do have some beef. I'll buy some beef for beef stew. All right then. And you? Need something? Take a look. You also have no gold, but you do also not have any beef. Okay, so ash hopper meat. Looks like is that like a giant grasshopper? Good day. That sounds disgusting, doesn't it? Doesn't it, Frost? Okay. We're going straight this way. Yep, north. Apparently it's going to rain for a couple days. I like rain in games, though I... This is one of the... Oh, ouch. This is one of the first games I think I've... Well, one of the first mods in general, I guess, where I think I prefer the sunny days to the rain, just because the sun in this mod looks so good. Well, not this mod, but this mod pack. The sun and the lighting in Wildlander look really, really good. I keep wanting to call my horse Dance because I'm so used to it now, but he's not Dance, he's Frost. Better save, I don't want to have to redo my morning shower and stuff. Ooh! Dwemer stuff, huh? Did I just decapitate you? Do you not have a head anymore? Nah, you got a head still. Would have been exciting. That would have been my first decapitation. What do we have here? Dwarven plate. Ooh, fire salt. Those are really rare. Vapor blast. Racial phylogeny. Restoration book. Ayy. I'm a reader. Notes on racial phylogeny and biology. 7th edition by the Council of Healers, Imperial University. Oh boy, this one... It's actually pretty short, surprisingly. I was gonna say, this, this is probably a real page-turner. That's a sarcastic remark, in case you weren't... aware. Alright. I guess I could rename... I could rename, uh, Frost to, like, Dance the Second or something. Where, where did you go, Frost? Did you get hit by something? I kind of like the name Frost, though, because, you know, the mod Frost for Fallout, it's kind of cool to have a 
horse named Frost, even though it's not related in any way. It's just because he's snowy and white. Could be a she, too, I guess. I don't really know what the gender of the horse is. Can we check? Is this as immersive as GTA? You can't check, guys. Not GTA. There's, you can't you can't check the gender of your horse in GTA. Are there horses in GTA? I don't know. I was thinking of um, that other open world game, uh, Red Dead, where you can apparently see your horse's balls shrink based upon how cold it is outside. That and the fact that it's a western, that's my entire knowledge about GTA. I don't know if I saw that. I'm pretty sure I saw that on a legitimate news article about the game and how immersive and realistic it was, was that your horse's nuts would shrink up whenever it was cold outside. Yep. Oh, I'm so sorry. Did I kill your buddy? other elk is just there like my god that was Fred you just you just cut him down without a thought he was my friend what is this place boulderfall cave where are we going today what excuse me what 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 just happened what's going on why are you yelling oh uh oh. Oh, good job. Good, good job, guys. I mean, a le high level necromancer was kind of scary. I thought maybe I'd just end up walking out here and dying instantly. So I kind of hid behind my followers, you know. The cool thing about how strong your followers are in this is that it would be totally realistic to just build an army of mercenaries and be their healer in this. You could totally do that. You could even, like, make one of your friends be the Dragonborn. Better save. Need to get healing going. Health poultice. And... Uh, what else? <clears throat> Pardon me. Um... Right, healing. Heal aura self. All right, let's mess up some bandits. Someone there. Ouchie. That was ouchie. Transmute blood converts health to magicka. Oh. That's interesting. Potatoes. Friends and I used to play Seek the Wampus in caves much like this. Did you say potato? Boil him. Oh my god. Boil him, mash him, stick him in a stew. Wait, did you have a staff? Oh yeah, you had a bunch of stuff on you. Fireball. Bunch of elixir stuff. Okay, cool. Man, this guy liked his, his uh, mead, huh, I guess. And his heads and hands in a basket, or whatever. His cabbages. He was a fan of cabbage. Corundum. Okay, sure. Sure, sure, why not? Where's my pickaxe? No, not that, that. I gotta try this out on a dummy sometime and see if it works. You know, it's all laying here, so he, he liked his slaughter fish, too. Oh, I can butcher meat from these? Maybe if they're fresh, you can. But usually you can't. Or at least I can't, usually. I was told that there is a... 
a lantern you can get called a traveling lantern, which is different from the regular lantern. And that I ought to be able to equip that on a follower and it should work for them. I was asking about that an episode or two or maybe three or four ago. It was a while back. And um, I guess apparently I have my lock picking gloves on instead of my good gloves on. So let's get that fixed. Or not that, the gloves, the uh, the ring. Yeah, gold ring of... This is nice too, see I'm going to regen 50% faster. I guess that would... You pair that with like one or two of these effects with your helmet. I'm not sure how the helmet works, so if it's a flat stamina per second thing, or if it's, um... Like, I don't know how it works. Um, Herbalist's Guide to Skyrim. Okay, we'll take that, sure. I'm not sure how all that works. Empty glass bottles are kind of useful. Just a cave with a guy in it, just living his best his best life over here, making some potions and catching a lot of rabbits. Huh. I wonder what the hell that's for. Like hanging larger game, I'd assume, like hanging a a deer or something. I don't know. We didn't have to fight, you know? I'm I'm okay with necromancy. I guess they kind of just feel like they have to fight you because so many people in Skyrim and just in Tamriel in general are against necromancy, so they feel they don't have much choice. Ah, well. That means I get to kill you and take your stuff, so... I guess it's all okay. We are heading to the east a bit over here. Is the rain slowing? I think it's slowing down, guys. The sun might come out soon. Is this it? We almost there? Yeah, we're like right here. Okay, we're getting an ore sample for a guy. And we can make our way around the lake. Oh, uh, there's a thing over here, too. Rather a large thing over here. Oh wait, Fort Greenwall. Was I here? Previously? I was at some kind of fort named Green. But it wasn't... No, I was here before. I think. Wait, let me see. I didn't know there were houses back here, though. Wait, is this the same place? Come on, get up there. There you go. Wait, this is a different place, isn't it? This isn't the same place I was at before, was it? Um... I thought it was Fort Greenwall, though. But I thought it was down... I don't know, guys. It might have been. Is this the same location? Am I just stupid? Didn't recall there being... Well, there is a forge over there. Okay, maybe, maybe it is. Quick question while I'm here. 
regarding the forges. Do I actually need... Okay, if I go to smithing toolkit here, or if I go to... Let me see. How about if I go to raw materials here? I go to ingot. It says smelter is required. Okay, so no, I do need to... I do need to... Have a smelter, I think, to do this. Unless... There's a certain toolkit you can use that makes you not need a smelter. I'm pretty sure you do need a smelter. Uh, yeah, we were here. We could everybody over here before. Well, but I didn't loot this stuff because I would have taken that stuff for sure. I think I just missed looting that stuff. I also might have forgotten to go inside of here. I might have forgotten to loot a lot of that stuff here. Um, it's entirely possible. Did I not go into here before? Oh, I just I just can't. It's boarded up. I see. What about over here? Yeah, I just can't go in. It's all boarded up. Hmm, wonder what the reason for that is. Is that that's, is that's due to a mod or a quest event or something else? Yeah, I just didn't loot these guys, because I, I forgot, I think, last time. Well, okay, I'm glad we... I mean, I'm not really that glad. It's, like... It was, like, 50 septums. It's not really a big deal. I'm mildly glad I came back over. You're stuck on the wall. I'm sorry. But... I won't turn down a free elk that's right in front of me like that. There he is. Okay, we're going... Yeah, it's it's right in front of me. Whatever I need to go to. It's like right here. How am I going around this? Shores Stones to my right over here. Is it, is it a mine? I mean, they did say it's an ore sample, right? So... I suppose that might make sense. I was screwing around with a, um... A mage type start. Oh, here we go. Uh. So that's a dragon that hasn't activated yet because uh, we didn't go up to it this way. It looks kind of cool. Go over here and have a little look at him. Whoa. You got those bug eyes, dude. I'm gonna be honest, this is the this is the googly eyed dragon right here. He's he's a bit different looking. Oh look at that. That's so weird. It almost like reminds me of like a centipede, and I hate centipedes. Like the, the little spines jutting out, it looks like um Oh, it's like insectile almost. I I kinda hate it, guys. And that's that's a that's a compliment. That's a compliment. I, I kind of hate it, and that's a compliment. Cause it just oh he's yeah he's like a giant centipede dragon. Yeah, I sort of hate him. Very unique looking. Okay, so there's a dragon over here. This is where we're supposed to go and get an ore sample, and there just happens to be a dragon over here, but plus a, uh, word of power. And we're just up there, chilling. Alright. Prepare for dragon battle, boys and girls. We're gonna fight a dragon in a second here. Definitely saved before that. 
We're definitely going the kind of shortcut weird way to get to here because... Well, just because uh, Skyrim horse, you know? Skyrim horse don't give a damn. He goes where he wants. This is a much more sheer cliff than I was expecting. Well, much more sheer mountain than I was expecting to be going over here to get to this place. Gotta be real careful. You know how, like, the Mako drives on, like, some absurd terrain in Mass Effect 1? Oh, excuse me. Well... The horse in Skyrim is the same thing, except it's a horse, and he just is like, I don't care. I'm gonna go where I want, deal with it. Northwind Mine. So this is the... I hear voices, probably bandits. Oh wait, that's Ilya! Good thing I pulled up last second. I thought you were a bandit, Ilya. You... Sorry. You had your hands up like you were, and you were kind of looking at me. I thought you were going to attack me. Okay, this is maybe the place we're supposed to go to for the ore sample, but maybe not. I don't know. It's not where the dragon's at. Maybe we'll check it out nonetheless, though. I'm pretty sure one of you guys just um, harvested that. That's pretty cool. Because I didn't. That went pretty well. All things considered. Stop, stop, stop. Okay, we're good. Okay. Let's see what's here. Oh, that is with Lantern. It's just very, very dark in here. Ooh, Ebony! I have half a mind to grab a pickaxe and start digging. Never know what you... We're gonna find Ebony. That's what we're gonna find. Wait, what? No? I'm not sure that I'm actually hitting... Oh, there we go. Hell yeah, ebony, dudes. I hear people. Is someone there? Oh, skeletons. My Warhammer not bound. Glass Warhammer, where are you? I guess I could use a silver greatsword too, but um, I'd rather capture their souls if I can for use in enchanting. Okay, glass Warhammer. One, there we go. Must be a necromancer around here somewhere. Uh-oh. Guys, there are boulders here. Be careful. Oh, it's already going out? Okay. Maybe this goes up into the dragon area. I knew it. 
I knew you were going to hit it. Told you to be careful. You know what? I'm going to bind this thing. There, it's on seven. That way we can swap back and forth without having issues. Alright, we're going to walk out of here and be right into the dragon area, I'm pretty sure. How much you want to bet? Definitely going to walk around the corner here. There's going to be a dragon there. One that we saw earlier. Dragon! Yep. Okie dokie. Time to buff up, boys and girls. Let's see, what are we doing here? Uh, we can do... Process won't do anything. Let's do some buffs. Armor rating. Stamina restore and armor. Poison's not going to help too much. Just do a big armor rating one. It's fine. We have all of our resist gear on already, so we should be good there. Um, fortify. Two-hand? I don't think I have any two-hand. I do, never mind. Stamina regen. Fortify stamina. What else? We're already maxed out on fire resist. We can do some uh, magic resist, though. Decent magic resist, that's good. What else? That's pretty much all. And then troll blood poison. Yes. And then do I have... No, I need to put on my... Berserker Rage. Coming down? Oh yeah, we're coming down. Oh yeah? Oh yeah? 75. Are you a Frost Dragon? Did you disarm me? Am I dead? Or am I good? I, I lived? No, I died. Okay. I thought I lived through that for a second. Well, at least I saved now after all that, so I'll remember it and yeah, makes, makes sense. Uh, what arrows am I using here? Silver? No, use, um, some good, not fire, maybe some elven shock arrows. That's fine. We're actually doing okay against him here. Let me go do some uh, glass ice. My arrows, and I can poison this thing too. Oh boy. Okay, I don't know what that does, but we go good. He's got a really big hitbox. It's much bigger than it seems at first. Probably should do some stamina. That's some four, okay. Back up. He's down. Oh god, oh god. He's eating uh, Uthgert. Uthgert, no. Do I have my Berserker Rage up? Yeah. Gotcha! Smacked him good. Okay, before I uh, harvest... 
Let's make sure that we... I should have used that Berserker Rage earlier. We smacked him real good. Alright, um, before I use the Harvesting stuff on him, I should use the Pink Moon Amulet. There we go. We get lots of Bountiful Harvest. Okay, and there we go. We got lots of Dragon Bones. Two Dragon Hearts. Yes, I am the Dragonborn. Still here. Okay. Is there anything else you need? Thought maybe we should have a unique dialogue thing. It's just now realizing, yes, the badass she's been palling around with is indeed the Dragonborn. Ooh, damn. All right, we got here some health, um, major health, magicka, just some generic decent stuff here. And what dragon word did we get? Life or a whisper. All right. What does that do? Aura Whisper. Your voice is not a shout, but a whisper, revealing the life forces of any and all. Huh, interesting. I think I'm probably going to go ahead and uh, unlock this Elemental Fury. So that should be a Grand Soul we just got, too, which is cool. Good job, folks. Hey, yo... Uthbert, way to take one for the team, man. You got kind of chomped, but, you know, you lived through it. You got it, with, you got it done with style, you know? Good job. Good job all. That was a good dragon slaying. Gonna be honest, I kind of flubbed the uh, first couple attempts. Hey, a smelter. So you got a smelter up here. Ebony ore over there. Never did see a necromancer or anything over here that would explain all the stuff, you know? Hey, we're almost to 90 lockpicking, guys, and that means I can finally take the lockpicking perk that will let me not have to use the uh, gloves anymore. Ooh, a black soul gem. Also pretty nice. So was there any more of a mine here, or is that all? I think that might be it. And was that the ore sample I was supposed to get? Or are we still doing that? Now we got it. That's the correct thing, I guess. Okay, sapphire necklace. No, never mind. We're in totally the wrong place. Shore stone. Yeah, we, this was not the right place. It's fine, though, because we found something cool, so it's fine. Um. Okay, let's go down here to the southeast and find this uh, shore stone... I thought maybe that shout was like an AoE heal over time. That'd be kind of nice. Maybe it does do that eventually. Reveals life and heals your allies or something like that. That'd be kind of cool. I really don't want to have to go down here. Like, I don't want to do this manually. No, go over here and mark that. Um, I don't want to have to go through that cave again. I'd rather just, like, Skyrim horse my way down this mountain. If that makes sense. Doesn't really make sense, but I'm going to do it. It's kind of nice, actually, that Bethesda was just kind of like, eh, is it realistic that the horses could do this? Nah. But you know what? It's Skyrim. It's, it's a game full of magic, whatever. Just let the players have fun. What do we have here? Ah, Shores Watch Tower. Okay, so is this a... Uh... Oh. Oh, no.
What happened here? This might be a place to go to early on to get some easy stuff. Like, yeah, there's dead people here, so you get some guaranteed free stuff here. Alright, what does it say? Letter to a car. All hail the Stormcloaks, a car. We've word of a band of Legion soldiers advancing on your position. Reinforcements are on the way. Talos guard you. Hmm. Well, apparently they did not get here in time. Or something else attacked, one of the two. I still have to go and talk to Ulfric and see if he can convince me to join the Stormcloaks or not. I guess we'll see. I think I'd like to do it both ways. Like, maybe this time around I'll do it, um... Stormcloak style, and next time around I'll join, uh... I'll join the Imperials, and then... After that, I'll just kind of, kind of like, not really participate. <coughs> <clears throat> I do kind of agree with Jarl Bulgriff's stance on it, that he just doesn't want to really take a side, because everyone is sort of... He views everyone as kind of his brother in arms, and he doesn't really... Like, it's, it's a complex issue, and supporting one side or the other does not really seem like... Oh, hey, the rain just turned off abruptly. That was interesting. It doesn't seem really prudent to support either side. I don't know. It doesn't really seem like either side is 100% correct in the, this matter. That was a failed jump pretty badly. Okay, um... Other way. Here. Here's where it is. Okay. So we're going here to pick up an ore sample from someone. Wait. Is it... No. Where the hell is this? Why can I not see my custom marker? Oh, no, it's still here. It's just up the road here. Like, it... Why am I having... It's right here. Why did I have so much trouble finding this? I am just a moron, guys. I'm bad at directions, look. This is it. It's, it's an actual town. Pretty barren town. Not much here. Hello there. Wait. I know you. Uh, no you don't. The only mistake was you showing your face. You've committed crimes against Skyrim and her people. Wait, what did I do? It's time to face the Jarl's justice. W what did I do? Could I persuade you to overlook this? All right. But you just watch yourself. Next time I might not be so lenient. Do I have to pay this off eventually? Wait. I think I do. I know you. The only mistake was you showing your face. Here, I'm just going to pay it. You've committed... Well... Just this once. Still a price on your head. Had to make yourself scarce. We'll have to do this little dance again. Wait, really? Wait. I know you. But I. Till next time. But I paid off my bounty. How can I? I mean, what am I supposed to do here to make this right? Was it taking frost that made things bad? Why is there a bounty on my head?
that was a waste of uh, gold. Well, here's the guy. I hope you haven't arrived here looking for work in the mine. It's about time. I sent them a letter weeks ago. Ah, that Elgrim. He'd forget his own pants if his wife didn't help him dress. <laughs> here you go. Tell half York that she can chip off whatever she thinks is a fair trade for their time. Okay. Um, we got the thing. We'll take it back now. What's for sale? Hmm. Blades, helmets, pretty much anything to suit your needs. Any ebony stuff? Ebony ingots? Well, you got ebony ore. I'll take that. Have plenty of malachites right now. I'm not going to worry about that. Um, kind of all I need. Okay, let me sell some stuff then at least. Some generic steel stuff here, maybe. Got a bunch of Dawnguard light crossbows. I passed these out, but I guess I'll keep the extras just in case. All the Dawnguard stuff, I'm going to keep them probably. Um, this is not really that impressive. I don't know. It's not really that great. It's also worth more than he has, so I guess we'll just... whatever. Dwarven Dagger does a bunch of stamina damage. Yeah, sell that. Random Dwarven stuff here. Okay, that works. That's all of his gold. Cool. Don't kid yourself. Stone runs in our blood. Watch what you're doing. You lost? Just looking around. Everything was going great in Red Belly. Then the damn spider showed up. Oh, spiders in the mine, huh? Smell a quest coming on. Tell me about the mine. Mining iron takes a lot of strength and special reinforced tools. I must have broken five or six pickaxes in the last few months alone. But now that I've got rock splinter here, I can cut through stone like a hot knife through butter. Rock splinter, you say? Maybe I would like rock splinter. Fortune to you and your children. Mining is hard work, but we pay fair price for any ore you dig up. Tell me about the mines. Damn place is filled with this reddish mist. Can't see more than ten feet in front of your face. But when you can sniff out a vein of iron like me, it isn't too much trouble. May the road favor the foolish. That's all I'm asking is that you clean up once in a pretty while. interesting. How you can find anything in your half of the place is beyond me. I'd rather spend more time in the mine hauling up iron than doing woman's work keeping the house clean. That's kind of that's kind of funny. Not going to lie. I'm not sure what I did to piss off whatever. I guess I have a bounty on my head. Nobody here? Oh, hello. Would you happen to be headed towards Darkwater Crossing? Um, maybe? What's been sending you to Darkwater Crossing? My parents live there. I usually make the journey to bring them gifts and to just say hello, but I haven't been well lately. I've written some letters and placed them in a satchel. Perhaps you wouldn't mind delivering it to them on my behalf? Yeah, sure, why not? You would? Well then, I would insist on rewarding you for your time. Here, take my satchel and give it to my father, Werner. He'll likely have something for you to bring back. Okay, you're not well, what's wrong? I had a bad fall in the mine when I was bringing some food to the men. I was pretty bad off for a while. But a priest of Mara was passing through on his way to Dawnstar and healed me to the best of his abilities. I'm still pretty sore, and I can't really walk too far without having to rest for a while. What can you tell me about the mine? I might be a woman, but I can crack rock with the best of them. Be careful in there. You can take a nasty spill. Darkwater Crossing is a difficult journey. Mind yourself. Ilya. Whatever, man. You do you.
Okay, so we learned about Darkwater Crossing, which has a weird red mist in it. Definitely a quest there in some way or shape or form. But that seems to be everything here. We can go inside the house over here. Can we even go inside over here? No, it's locked up. Here's the mine. Hmm, red Belly Mine. Is there stuff besides iron here? Because I don't really want the iron. Weird red mist here. <clears throat> Lots of iron ore. Lots of poison here, anyway. From the spiders, that is. It takes uncommon strength to work the mines in Skyrim. The earth here is cold and hard, like the heart of a Nord. I guess that's true. It would be difficult to get through the frozen tundra. And yeah, I could certainly see taking a nasty fall down through here somewhere. It would be really bad. This is back outside. There is a different way we can go here, right? Just a dead end over here. Okay. That's it then. I think that's all. Back out we go. Let's do some healing here. So, is that a quest? What you're doing. Will you get upset with me if I talk to you about the whole, you know, me being a criminal thing? Wait, I know you. The only mistake was you showing your face. All right, but you just watch yourself. Next time, I might not be so mean. I hope you haven't arrived here looking for work in the mine. Uh, what's wrong with the mine? <laughs> It's full of spiders, that's what's wrong with it. Almost killed Grogmar and me when they showed up. I'm worried that they'll come out of the mine looking for food soon. Then we're in even bigger trouble. The guards can't help? Yeah, they're as useless as a fifth wheel on a wagon. Gave me some sort of line about keeping an eye out for enemy soldiers. What's the point in protecting this place if the mine's completely useless? Idiots. I have already cleared it out, actually. Wait, you mean you killed every last one of them? I can't believe it. Finally, we can reopen the mine and put Shore's stone back on the map. Here, please accept this gift as a token of our gratitude. Okay, well, thanks for the money. What's so special about this ore? Red Belly is supposed to be nothing but an iron mine. Been working it for years. Then, right before the spiders had moved in, we found that chunk of ore. Never seen anything like it. I want to know what I'm dealing with before I start tearing it out of the ground. Hmm, okay. Keep safe. Maybe I should try mining in here and see if I get anything special. 
can't hurt while we're here. I mean, it'll only take a second to go through and hit all the iron veins up. Assuming we can still, they're not going to, like, get upset because it's cleared out now and they don't want us mining here. I don't know. Just a granite gem there, nothing special. That's it. I mean, okay, wasn't really anything special. Yeah, I could definitely see having some trouble if you're trying to uh, walk down there with trays full of food. Could be a real bad time. A couple extra torches might help a lot, you know? Alright, I guess we're out of here. I gotta find out what the deal is, why they're so upset with me, if it's because of the horse or if I did something else. I did pay off my debt on that accidental lock picking previously, so I, I thought I was good, but apparently not. Okay, let's go get Nivenor's sapphire necklace over here. And there's Darkwater Crossing, which is a different mine, I think. I'm not really sure.